Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the um, November 1st through the 14th. I wasn't intending on you being next, but apparently you are. So take that as a message. I wasn't planning on you being next, but apparently you are. I really wasn't planning on you being next. So, let's get started. What do we have for Aries? I'm going to start right here. Mm. Trust. Trust. While your logical mind is dictating a supposedly clear direction... Your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternative path. The logical path may be one that you consider safe and more familiar, but you could be missing out on boundless opportunities and so much more. So this is about trust. You notice, what's that, a compass? It is a compass. So you, you know, a compass is a direction. Okay, trust your, your gut. You're going to be going in a new direction. You're going to be guided in a new direction. Okay, so this says to go with it. Okay, your logical mind is going to tell you what direction, but your soul's inner guidance is going to say, nope, just go. Just go in that direction. Go in the other direction. Okay, um, the logical path may be one that you consider safe. And more familiar but you are missing out on boundless opportunities so you are going to be basically at a crossroads you are being told to choose the path that you have never gone down So what do we got for Aries? Oh my goodness. Guess this one's it, huh? Watching clouds lay back, re or it says lie back, rest and relax. So watching clouds, relaxing. I'm going to read it because I feel like it. Lie back, relax, put everything aside, and take time to renew your energy. It's often when you totally relax that new insights and awareness can emerge. Take deep, full breaths. Put your feet up. Be present in each moment. Do nothing. Watch clouds. The answers that you seek will emerge easily, but first you need to stop all activity, take naps, and evaluate your life. There are times when the most empowering things the traveler can do is step off the path. And that is what you're being called to do, okay? It's to step off the path. It's, it's very clear, okay? Um, stretch out and lie on the earth to watch the clouds float by. This act is renewing and regenerating. When all the activity of the road diminishes and the traveler allows a languid, a languid relaxation to emerge, this is most often the time when the presence of spirit can be felt. This is also the time when, significant, when a significant sign appears. You are going to be receiving a sign. I know that you are. Um... A sign to go down a new path okay you're gonna be given an opportunity to go down a new path and this is something big okay it's not something little um, what do we have for Aries these cards having a really hard time coming together hard time shuffling things are falling apart by the looks of things and maybe they need to oh there we go ten of cups Flipped right over. So this is a flip. It is. This is an opportunity for happiness. But you have to allow it. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. You notice I didn't fight the cards. Don't fight it. Take it. 
This is about happiness, fulfillment. The storm is over. This is a spiritual blessing, an opportunity for happiness and comfort and joy and peace. This is the end of a storm, right? The rain and the rainbow comes out. The storm is over. Okay, the storm is over. It's the end. Tens are completions. Now you can lay back and rest and relax. But this is the thing is, if you fight it and you stay on your current path, I think we're going to have a problem. Mm, there it is. That's a choice. This is an indecision, okay? You need to you need to be decisive. I feel like you have some overwhelming fear, some over, overwhelming fear, overwhelming worry, uh, not wanting to see something, choosing not to see, but going to see, okay? You are going to see. Now, when you get the Two of Swords reversed, I feel like you're, this is like seeing the truth about happiness. You are going to see something. I think that you've been wearing some sort of mask, but now you're going to see. You're going to see something about happiness. It may have something to do with your family. Um, toxic. Uh, that devil, that's that's a disaster. That's toxic, unhealthy, greed, obsession. I'm just going to get some more cards here. Seeing very clearly what you need to do. You are. Now, whether it's you or somebody else, somebody is going to be getting some sort of clarity, coming out of confusion, uh, making a clear choice, being practical, doing the right thing, putting in effort. We have somebody here that is uh, using common sense. They are going to be making a very practical decision, practical choice, and it has to do with happiness. Make sure you're being realistic. Okay, this is about realism. I do also feel that there is an offer coming in for you. I feel like there's, an, there's a really solid opportunity for happiness that is coming in for you. It's not an illusion. It's the real deal. Okay, this is the real deal. So if you're, if you're, um, if you've been not seeing something or blocking your emotions or something, you're going to see something, um, now that that devil card is unhealthy behavior, um, greed, lust, temptation, materialism, uh, bound, bound to something, some sort of uh, codependency, bound to something, chained. You're chained to something that you shouldn't be, something that isn't healthy. You've let your ego, because the devil is ego, I don't care what anybody says, it's shadow. You've let your shadow, you've let your um, dark side get the best of you. Okay, we all have a dark side, so don't get triggered by that. I know some people don't want to admit it, but we all do. Somebody has let their shadow, you know, their their uh, greed or ego get the best of them but now there's lies being exposed because this is exposure exposure of the truth exposure of egotism exposure of materialism exposure of greed you know whatever that is there's something that is going to be exposed um that devil is unhealthy behavior toxic um Somebody chose, they chose something that was unhealthy, an unhealthy path. They did. And now there's some sort of consequences. There is consequences. This is kind of consequences. So it's interesting. Um, hmm. Oh my God. King of Wands reversed. So this is, uh, well, this is your energy. This is unreasonable. The King of Wands in reverse is somebody that is unreasonable, conceited, greedy. And I could see greedy. We have somebody here that has let greed get in the way of happiness. This could even be so much as choosing the wrong partner because that partner was attractive. 
You know what I mean? This is about looks. The devil is, is all is not as it seems. Okay, it's about looks. Somebody chooses looks over their family. And whether it's the looks of your body, it's the looks of your um, partner, the looks of your home, the looks of your car. You know, somebody has chosen something superficial over happiness. But this is a need to break free from a toxic behavior. Okay, so some of you may be have been unreasonable. You've been unreasonable. You maybe have been overindulging. Um, a need to uh, take action. You must take action to break free from this addiction, whatever it is. You got to take action. You do. Um, mm. Blocking happiness. Somebody is blocking their own happiness. That sucks. Um, King of Wands reversed. No vision. Lack of vision. Naive. We do have somebody here that is very naive. Not seeing the truth. Not seeing what truly matters. Oh my fucking God. Oh God. But they're gonna see. They are gonna see. Hangman reversed. Struggling, struggling with ego. <laughs> now, it could be you, it could be somebody that you're dealing with. It could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with another fire sign. Could be, this is Pisces. We have Capricorn. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. But this person is struggling, hiding something. I think that you are dealing with somebody that is hiding something. This person is unwilling to change, very egotistical, high egotism. This person will never change. And I feel like you're going to see something about this person. Um, you are, you're going to see something. Um, this person has, is super controlling. I think you're dealing with somebody that is very controlling. Um, maybe they've blocked your family. You know, they've blocked you from communicating with your family or blocked your family from being around you. Because um, this is blocking. You may even end up angry because we have anger here. You may be angry when you see. It's like you're going to see something and you probably, you could end up angry when you see. I think you probably will. Anyhow, um, hangman reverse, struggling, struggling with ego, sacrificing, wasting time. You are going to get a new opportunity to break free from somebody that has been keeping you stuck. This person has been keeping you bound to their connection. You know what I mean? You were con you've been connected to somebody that is toxic. Could be Capricorn. I feel like it's a Capricorn or a Pisces. Um, I could be wrong though. I but that's what I feel. I feel deeply it's a Capricorn or a Pisces. I feel like you are needing to take action. You need to sever ties. You do. You need to sever ties with this person. This person is holding you back from happiness. I feel like you will be getting an opportunity. Um, because that is a golden opportunity to break free from this person. Yes, to sever ties. I feel like, uh, well, that five of swords is a battle. It's a battle. It's a fight. It's walking away. It's, it's, uh, surrendering, leaving, leaving somebody behind. I think you will be making a choice. I do see you making a choice, making a choice to just, you know what, I'm leaving you behind. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. You know, I feel like you, and I think that you do need to sever ties. This person has addictions. This person is toxic. This person is being in your energy is holding you back from happiness. You need to make the cut. Okay. You need to make the cut. Um, I do feel like there's some sort of lies that are going to be exposed that help you to make this cut. Um... Five of Swords. That's like uh, walking away, uh, not looking back. There's some sort of abuse. Whoever you're dealing with only cares about number one. All they care about is themselves. Okay? They don't care about you. They care about themselves. They care about what their money. Okay? They care about what they can get from you. You know what? That's all they care about. And I feel like you have an opportunity for happiness with 
somebody that is more solid, somebody that is more genuine, somebody that is more generous, somebody that is more practical and down to earth and grounded and realistic and uh, solid. You have an opportunity, but you're missing it. This is missing. You've been missing an opportunity, wasting time with whoever this uh, person that you are. I don't know, codependent on. For some reason, you haven't been able to break free from this person. Um, but I see you walking away. I see you walking away or them walking away. Somebody is walking away. It's like, you know, I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to play with you anymore. I don't want to battle with you anymore. You win. Goodbye. Okay? This is definitely goodbye. You're dealing with somebody that has no morals. This person has no morals. They have no conscience. As long as they win, that's all they care about. And you're going to see that. Okay? You are going to see it. Trust me. So I feel like between November 1st and the 15th, I feel like you're going to be guided down a path. You are. and But that path will require you Well, when you when you go down a path, you're all, you're leaving something behind to break free from a toxic behavior, a toxic situation, somebody that you are codependent on. You've been letting this person. It feels like this person has been controlling you. They've been controlling your mind. They may have even brainwashed you. Confusion made you confused. This is confusion. It is. You're dealing with somebody who is very, very uh, egotistical. Anyway, I do see you uh, being given an opportunity for happiness in these next two weeks. You will be detaching from an abuser of some sort. And this could be mental abuse. Emperor, there you go. That's taking charge, taking ownership, being the boss, taking the lead, taking action. You will be taking action this week. Making a decision. You are. You're going to be making a tough decision based on facts. You're going to see some sort of facts. This is lies, truth being exposed. Something is going to be exposed that makes you see something very clearly about an individual that you have been tied to. You have been bound to this person. You have not severed ties. You are going to be severing ties with this person. You're going to be severing ties with somebody this week. This is somebody that is very sneaky. This person is very um, complex. Uh, shallow. Whoever this person is, they're shallow. Um, they have some sort of addictions. And it could be greed. It could literally be greed. You know, this person is greedy. It could be drugs. Um, it could be materialism. Somebody is very, very, very materialistic here. I don't know who it is. It's either you or the person you're dealing with. But I do see you taking the seat. I see that you are going to be making a decision based on your future. Okay? You're going to be taking the lead. It's like you've had enough. That's what I see in this car. It's like, you know what? I've had enough of this. I also feel like there's there could be some sort of fight. Okay, you may get in a fight with somebody. Okay, because this is a fight. With somebody that will not change. This is somebody who doesn't care about anybody but themselves. So I don't know whoever you're dealing with. This person is very, very... Uh, well, this person has no morals. This person has no morals and they have no conscience.
you're gonna you're I think that you're you're gonna move it you're gonna be moving you're gonna be going down that path that you have been reluctant to go down you're gonna be laying a new foundation it looks like this is like laying building a new foundation whoever you who whoever somebody's been hanging on to you or you've been hanging on to them for financial security that's the only reason and you are gonna see it if you don't see it in these next two weeks, you're going to see it eventually. I know that you're going to see it. You're going to, this is seeing the truth. You're going to see the truth about somebody. I think you're going to get angry. I think you're going to get angry. I think you're going to get, get upset. Now this is being judged. Okay, so you may be judged. You may be in front of a judge. You may be the judge. You may be judging somebody's character. There is a decision. There is a decision that is being made. Somebody is uh, taking charge, okay? Stopping communication. No more, no contact. I think that you have somebody around you that is very jealous. I feel like it's a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be a water sign. It's either a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or it's a Capricorn. That's my guess. Ah, this is no contact, walking away. I think it's going to be a very emotional time. Now this Queen of Cups looks like this person is waiting. They are just waiting. They're waiting for some news. They're just waiting. They're waiting for the moment. Somebody is waiting for the moment. They're waiting for you to explode or something like that. Now, the Queen of Cups can also be some sort of counselor. There could be a counselor that can help you support, emotional support. I do feel like there is, you are going to be getting some emotional support from somebody that you have not communicated with. It may be somebody from your past, a friend, okay? This is like a friend. You're going to be getting some sort of emotional support. Maybe it's from a nurse or a counselor or somebody that is going to help you. Help you through some sort of... I feel like it's a separation. I feel like you're going, through, going to go through some sort of separation from somebody that... Or you've been going through it, but you've been hanging on by a thread. It's like you've been hanging on by a thread to this person. It's time to sever that last little piece, that last little cord. It's time to just, you know, you know, it's like that, that, you know, where you've reached, you know, you're playing tug of war and it's, it's fraying, you know, the, 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 uh, the rope is fraying. It's, it's hanging on by a thread. Just <laughs> so, yeah, I think that this week you are, I think that you're going to be saying goodbye to somebody that. Uh, you have been hanging on to this person has been stalling your happiness and I feel like as soon as you say goodbye there's another opportunity that comes in that is solid it's right there waiting for you it's like right there there it is I know that it is so yeah you have you have a, an offer coming in this is for love real love romance 
And if this isn't a romance reading, if this isn't a love reading, there's emotional support coming in for you. I feel like it's going to be a very nostalgic time as well. I feel like there's going to be uh, socializing. I feel like there's going to be uh, expressing feelings. I do see it's going to be an emotional time. I think you're going to be connecting with somebody unexpectedly. Because it's almost like you tell the universe that, you're, that you've severed. You have to sever them. It's like when you tell whoever this person is, don't talk to me anymore. Don't come. I don't. Never again. We're done. It's when you literally walk away and you really walk away. It's when you really cut off no contact. When you go no contact with whoever this abusive individual is, there is somebody else here to support you instantly. So I feel like this week, I feel like it's a week of following your heart, healing your heart, uh, making a move, searching for love, letting go of something you've been hanging on to, breaking free from a toxic person or behavior or both. Whoever you've been dealing with is, is never going to change. And you're going to see that. And I think that you're going to get angry. Something is going to happen. There's going to be a fight that makes you see that causes you to sever ties and walk away. I do feel like you are going to be going no contact with somebody who you know, probably says all the right things. But that's, they're just words. Their actions don't live up to their words. You're going to be seeing some sort of facts that cause you to sever ties. That's what I see. Good luck.